I don't see Mississippi State losing more than What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mayhem Matthew, with the Edom Dogs YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be previewing the 2023 Mississippi State football schedule. Uh, they have a brand new head coach in Zach Arnett. Rest in peace uh, to uh, Mike Leach. He uh, unexpectedly passed away last year, and they bring uh, Zach Arnett as the new head coach. They have 11 returning starters uh, on defense and offense. So that's about half the team right there. So they bring back a lot. They have a brand new offensive coordinator in Kevin Barbe. He was uh, the offensive coordinator at Appalachian State, where he put up uh, 359 passes and 474 rushes. That is way different than what Mississippi State put up in their 634 passes and 295 rushes. So Kevin Barbe is trying to move away from the air raid system. Um, he's probably going to do a lot more uh, of a rushing attack uh, there. And also, uh, he brings in tight ends from the transfer portal. You know, in the air raid, uh, you don't really use tight ends, but uh, he brings in Ryland Good and uh, Jacorius Spivey at tight end uh, from Georgia and uh, from TCU there. And then um, he got some guys leaving on the offense, uh, players leaving, Ra Ra Thomas, Caleb Ducking, and Austin Williams. Uh, them are all wide receivers that are leaving that offense. But don't worry, Mississippi State fans, because you still return guys like Rufus Harvey, uh, Griffin, Jaden Wally, and Justin Robinson. So you got a pretty good uh, wide receiving core there. I wouldn't say elite, but I would say they're pretty good. Um, as far as the offensive line, you bring in a, a new uh, offensive line coach, Will Friend. You know, that offensive line brings back four returning players, Nick Jones, Cameron Jones, Steven, and Cole Smith. So collectively, I think, um, you know, also they bring back their quarterback in Will Rogers. You know, Will Rogers is a great quarterback for the Mississippi State football team. Um, you know, bring back four returning players on your offensive line. Uh, you know, return guys on, like we just said, on the wide receiving core. Yes, you do lose guys on the wide receiving core, but. And then you also have the tight end set that we talked about uh, that, you know, this new offense coordinator is going to instill in the Mississippi State offense. So as far as the offense goes, I think y'all will be pretty good offensively. Uh, as far as the defense, uh, listen, guys, the defense loses quite a bunch. Um, you lose Emmanuel Forbes and all three safety spots. So, and then the only only guy in the backfield that you return is uh, cornerback DeCamrian Richardson. So uh, that secondary is going to be bad, uh, and that's a problem for Mississippi State. Anybody can probably pass on uh, Mississippi State this year, but they do bring four defensive backs from the transfer portal. So we'll see how that goes uh, this spring and into the fall. Let's take a look at the uh, 2023 schedule for the Mississippi State uh, football team. They start out at home, Southeastern L.A. Lions, and then they face the uh, Arizona Wildcats, and then they also face LSU Tigers at home. Um, then their very first road game is at South Carolina uh, at williams Bryce Stadium. They go back home to face Alabama, and then they face um, Western Michigan Broncos at home, and then they have their off week. Let's talk about this for a second. You know, their, their schedule sets up pretty easily 
for them if you're talking about you know home field advantage. The only away game that you have is the South Carolina Gamecocks. I know you got tough competition in LSU and Alabama, so if you can get out of there with only two losses, then uh, Mississippi State fans, y'all should be really happy with that. For the second half of their season, uh, they come off a bye week and play at Arkansas and at Auburn. That's back-to-back road games. Um, Kentucky, they play at home. Then they go away at Texas A&M in Kyle Field. Then they play at home Southern Miss. And then they play uh, to end the season Ole Miss, the Egg Bowl at Davis Wade Stadium at home. So their schedule sets up pretty nicely. Um, If you can go, if you can win one of them back-to-back road games and you can come out with only two losses in the first half and maybe two losses there, I'm I'm going to go ahead and say their ceiling is eight wins, nine with a bowl win, but we're talking about the uh, regular season right here. Um, But their, their ceiling is probably eight wins, and the floor here, I would say six and six. I don't see Mississippi State losing more than six games. And, I mean, they they return a lot on the offense. They lose a lot on defense. But I still think they're going to be a pretty good team to win at least six games. If you like this content, please smash the thumbs up. And if you really like this content, Hit the subscribe button. She go with me cause my chain. I had to fly in New Jersey to come with that thing. Chocolate nigga, I'm bae. Soon as I got to the city, she brought me that brain.